Hello everyone, in this video we will set up a weapon stash with the combat module for Game Creator. Now if you've seen my dual weapon setup video, you know how to set up having two different weapons. What if you want more than just those two and don't want to set up a complex action system? That's the goal of the weapon stash function. Have a huge arsenal of both melee and shooter weapons that is easy to set up. In order to create this we will need Unity, Game Creator, the combat module, shooter and or melee module. So let's dive in. So for the purpose of this uh, tutorial I will be reusing my previous scene. This is the scene where I set up uh, targeting for both melee and shooter. Now you don't have to do this, all you basically need is just you know a playable character um, but I thought it made a lot of sense to continue where we left off. Now the first thing you will need to do is make sure the player can actually access um, the weapon stash. So there's this really small component we need to add for that and that's it. You don't need to set anything up, it will work out of the box. Now the next thing we will need to do is um, set up two triggers. So let me do that. So we will set them up uh, on our Playgood targeter. Um, we already you know, copied over this prefab before. Don't want to set up everything under the player itself. Try to keep it condensed. So let me just add it here. So trigger one. And trigger two. Now this will allow us to switch weapons, so we're going to do a key up. I'm going to use P here because I'm not using P for anything else. There we go. So P will be our switch button. And uh, on start is going to add all of the weapons we have in our stash. Now the nice thing about this uh, being a separate action, which literally just adds a bunch of uh, weapons to the stash, is that you can obviously combine this with, um, well, pretty much anything. So unlockables um, in menus, in shops, um, that will automatically just add uh, weapons to your stash. So it's a lot you can do with this. Pretty nice. Now this created two actions. Um, the first thing we're going to do is simply um, set up our uh, cycling so cycle to next weapon there we go um, this is for the player you can have another button do the reverse so cycle backwards if you really have a large list of weapons I'm just going to keep it simple just have four straightforward and that's it now next up is actually going to be um, adding everything to our inventory so this is going to be uh, a larger list because I really want to you know, show um, everything we can add here. That's the whole point, having a large arsenal of weapons. So I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times. Let's add arrows. Let's add, well, let's add our custom 1911 here. I'm going to add um, cartridges for a sniper. Let's do another one. We're going to add uh, fragmentation because we want some grenades as well. Now I'm just going to do, you know, keep it at 10, but obviously you can have the number you want. Um, I don't want to change it all again. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's, that's quite a lot of weapons. Now, this the next action won't be the default draw, you know, from the shooter module. So we're going to go to um, actions, fire chicken games combat, and we're going to go to uh, give a shooter weapon and give melee weapon. So I'm going to start off with um, the revolver. That's the first one. Then we're going to add. Um, I don't know what I had next. I think it was a bow. Doesn't really matter the order in which you do it. Um, I might 
1911 here. Going to add um, the sniper. Going to add the hand grenade. And oh, yeah, there we go. Um, I think the last thing I want to add is actually going to be a melee weapon. Now, that's the nice thing here. Um, you're not stuck to one of the two modules. Um, use give melee weapon. Um, you can switch between those as well. I'm just going to use my custom katana. Well, you know what? Let's actually add the sword as well. Just to have it all. So with the katana sword. Quite a big list. Um, but as you can see. But really easy to set up. So there we go. There we have it. Um, two basic uh, actions. Now let's collapse all of this. Because we're done with the player. And next up is going to be. Uh, the UI now we already have a UI um, you know I set that up in the advanced uh, UI tutorial so I will only be using a couple a uh, couple of the features here um, but the nice thing is is if you know if you don't have one all you really need to do is just drag this in so we're going to go to user interfaces and drag in the weapon stash now going to switch to 2D view here just so you can see and um, let me drag it into the player UI straight away yeah there we go so now it's on it's on top of um, our minimap as you can see it has the name the type of ammo and um, ammo in the magazine uh, etc so you know all of the inventory um, weapon inventory information everything you could need now I already set one up I already have most of the information I want um, I don't really need to see all of everything we have in storage etc but right now I am displaying uh, ammo types and I'd rather actually have weapon types because we're also adding melee weapons so it would make sense to actually display the name instead of um, instead of ammo types so let me grab that name here going to drag that out there we go I think that's enough just going to disable all of this that I don't need because you know like I said I already have it uh, but I do not have name so let me drag that here leave a small gap and there we go yeah that seems about right now I need to make sure that um, I actually do hide uh, the current name that's under that, the ammo name. Where are you? There you go. I'm just going to turn that off for now. I know deleting etc. would be better. I'm just going to keep it simple. And there we go. So, all set up. Now let's refocus on our player. we go yes mouse off now I'm going to draw the first weapon by long pressing E so we have our revolver could have aligned this a tiny bit better it's not a perfect alignment um, and I'm going to press P to cycle to the next weapon which doesn't seem to work it seems to be adding ammo which is interesting so let's see what I set up incorrectly And there you go. Well, I, you know, 
would have made more sense to actually turn these around. So this is action eight is on start. There we go. So I was just endlessly adding ammo and weapons, which is not the best idea. Let's do that again. Wrong order. Perfect. So going to draw our first weapon here, going to hit P and switch to the bow. As you can see, this is quite a long name, so it doesn't perfectly fit in our UI. Nice one. Let's switch to our 1911. So this is my custom gun. And as you can see, it didn't need to set up anything up. My custom gun works just fine. Our sniper. Handgun apparently as well. Um, katana. And our regular sword. Hitting P again and I'm back to my revolver. So that's it. Really easy to set up. Um, but really nice to have a simple action that allows us to carry a lot of weapons without having to set up uh, a lot of actions. So it's all about simplicity. And yeah, this is pretty pretty nice. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.